Thank y'all for coming. Thank you for fixing the shit. Um, but no, how many of y'all heard about that twerking butt shit? Like, y'all heard about that? You know, they have this machine, like a new sex toy. Yes, they have a new sex toy called the twerking butt. Yes. No, I'm not making this shit up. It's fucking real. You can Google this shit right the fuck now. Because I went in an adult store because I advertised for Tahiti, I mean, for the uh, Island Heat marketing show. It's my old company. I used to work for Tahiti Village. Selling timeshare and shit. Uh, but no, I worked for Island Heat and I was in there marketing a show. And this girl was like, yeah, we have on sale the twerking butt. I'm like, for real? It, it, it twerks? For real? Like, I just checked this shit out. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, some of you just said, like, she just told me a story. Yeah, this Middle Eastern guy came in here. And uh, he looked at it, and he said if he had that, he would never need another woman again. I'm like, wow, you must be lonely as shit. But come to find out, evidently, evidently, you know, a woman will burn you, but a machine will burn you as well. Because at their after party, the porn after party, the twerking butt overheated, and every guy that stuck their dick in there got burnt. So you will not only get burnt by a woman, but you will also get burnt by a machine in real life. So watch where you stick it, fellas. Yes, always use protection. But coming to the stage right now, our final comedian for the evening, I need you to get up for the one, the only, vet coming to the stage. Yeah. Why she got to do the overhand clap? That was amazing. Uh, <laughs> hey, shout out to Mike, man. Give it up for him. <laughs> okay, no one's deaf from that, I hope, right? Okay, cool, cool. So who's on Instagram? Anybody on this shit? Yeah. You shameless motherfuckers. Self-absorbed bastards. It's all over social media, though. I mean, you see vanity every fucking which way on social media. It's like playing cards. Oh, a suit, a suit, a suit. So, you know, that's a common thing. But what the hell do you see most commonly in the narcissism? Some hot chick with the phone, right? <laughs> selfie! 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 Duck lips! <laughs> selfie! How about this? Kill your selfie! And I don't mean just a picture. And what the food, man? What are you doing? You're taking pictures of your food that you're not even eating? What is wrong with you? There are people starving to death. And you're just, yeah, I think I'm going to make my camera somehow eat this food by taking pictures of it, you know? Some infantile way of thinking. I don't understand that, but you know what? When I hear about that shit, when I see that type of thing going on, wastefulness, especially on the Instagram nonsense, that selfie-loving shit, I hope there's a famished homeless man that comes in, kicks your fucking door down, kills you, eats you, kills your family, eats them, and eats that food you're trying to waste, and then sends me the fucking picture, and I'll be like, wow. Retweeting that shit. Oh, fuck. Great Facebook post. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm not on Instagram. So, anyways, yeah, that kind of made me hungry a little bit, you know, talking about eating people. But, um... You know that recent Snickers commercial? That one, you know, with the bunch and Danny Trejo and Steve Buscemi, you know what I'm talking about? That's, yeah, that was pretty good shit, right? Right, yeah. But that motto Snickers is always using, you're not you when you're hungry. Have a Snickers. Oh, shit, really? Because uh, I think I'm still me, because I only ate a fucking Snickers! <laughs> And how are you going to eat just one? I get that. That's their ploy, though, you know? Because you can't have just one, especially those ice cream shits. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, anyway. That's their ploy, though. You're like, at 10, you're full now, right? 20. Oh, you're not full yet? Diabetes, we win. I know. I got invited to a wedding recently. Why? I, I can't understand that one. You know? Why? What a joke. Holy matrimony. Um, no, not me, dude. That's not me. You know what I'm saying? They call marriage an institution. Yeah, a fucking mental institution. That's real, you know? So you're gonna have me go to that. You call that marriage? That's disparage. No. So I gotta look at the bride and groom, right? And I was like, whoa, somebody ought to groom the bride. Woof. To come to their wedding. They knew what they were expecting. So then, you know, it gets to the part where they allow you to interject and they say, you know, against the union, uh, those who feel these two should not be wed, you know, that part. Man, I'm out of my seat. 
Like, I got a rocket blast of diarrhea I'm trying to hold back. And I'm like, no, no, because it's like that. I'm not letting that shit stay inside me. I'm going to try to save you. I'm going to try to stop it like an assassination. I'm like, no! Too late. Rings are already on the finger, bullets in the head. You're done. I can't save you. You couldn't save yourself. So, who caught that uh, Justin Bieber rose a couple months back? Yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. You know, I wanted to be a part of that. But I couldn't be. But that doesn't mean the roast is fucking over. I got jokes for that little bastard. Want to hear some Bieber jokes? Yeah. No. Oh yes, come on. <laughs> don't want to hear a Bieber joke. That's like saying. They don't like. That's the point. I like. It. I like. It. See, Justin has a god complex, and that's why he coined the term for his fans, believers. But like, I think of Christianity. I'm happy to be a non-believer. I used to think Miley Cyrus was somewhat good looking when she was Hannah Montana for a minor. But definitely felt oppositely about it when she became Justin Bieber's twin. Wow. Justin is such an overprivileged sack of shit with infantile antics. He personifies the definition of, I don't want to grow up, I'm a Toys R Us kid. Justin is the one underage kid I ever hoped that was or will be molested. The talent was always with Justin at a young age. Not many can master the levels of various talents of such extreme annoyance. Justin was born uh, one month before the unfortunate demise of one of my idols, Kurt Cobain, in 1994. Now you all know the real motive for his suicide. Uh, I don't know if you ever noticed this. I'm not a big, loud, vocal person through my nose. I know I got a mouth like fucking Godzilla, but... When someone's blowing their nose, I can't help it. Like it's like it sounds like a fucking mating call, you know? <laughs> Just honking out at you, like, damn, you listen to that big ass nose? Holy shit, honking the hell out of it! I think I was just talking to a toucan. It was just, I don't know, I don't know how you how do you get that volume from the from your nose? I don't have that issue. I guess when I'm sick, I got colds and shit. I you know I honk it out and shit. Like you know, it's like huh huh. You know, I don't give a fuck though. I mean, I'm sick. What's your excuse? Your nose just sounds sick all the time. Anywho, uh, yeah, thanks for chilling with this, man. I'm vexed. Thank you. Yeah.